welcome back to my channel beautiful people it's becky the mommy <laughs> okay so this is just a mini market vlog on how i got the ingredients i used in cooking this vegetable soup so here i was actually looking for equerry vegetables which is pumpkin leaves now we are made to believe that equerry vegetables are very soft and organically grown i mean i grew up in a proper equerry home <laughs> Huh? Which vegetable would be this one? You said no, no fertilizer. So vegetable they get and fertilizer. Of course. And how much you go sell us? Huh? My love, now the price. No, give me two hundred. And you say no, give me two hundred. My love, that is why I say when you don't think I'm a thing. This is no food now. Huh? Oh wow, come with it. How is it? Hundred for me. Why? 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 The big cup. I don't want the one where they beat out. Hey, hey. Because that one where I buy from you, that one no bitter. Which of the cup? This one. No, what's that for him for? Nice, smile, boy. Give me the other cup. This one. That one, how much? The other red cup, how much? And to this size, how much? Two five. And the same thing with this size. And to now the same thing. One five like this. Nothing come out inside though. This one na atama. Atama, sorry. Atama code. Che, are they fine smoked fish? My good morning. Now you get this one. I beg, make a way. How you this here? Like that big size. No, that one. See the other one. Yes. I 
Auntie say how much? Even as I walk, we can come back here. Make you see eh? how we the where to we the past this. I no come by for table. I walk come this inside inside. Wow. I just said and say now here where I go buy and cheaper. This one, this one, you dry and this morning, Abi. You day fresh. Auntie, me this one no go pieces inside food. Okay, so now I'm heading to the slaughter to buy cow head, guys. Now you see, this is the reason why I made the post on how to wash animal proteins, especially raw meat, because of how these meats are being processed outside. So guys, I'm back from the market. <laughs> As usual, guys, I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from the market. I'm sure you must have seen everything already. Okay, you must have seen everything already when, you know, I was going around the market picking one or two things. So guys, today I'm cooking vegetable soup. Mm. You know guys, the last time I did my box shopping, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't do a step-by-step -step video of, um, how I cooked my vegetable soup and I promised you guys that I was going to you know do a step-by-step -step video the next time I'll be cooking vegetable soup so yes guys today I'm cooking vegetable soup and I'm definitely going to do a step-by-step -step video okay guys so I'm ready to start cooking these are all the key ingredients that I'll be using to make this vegetable soup popularly known as a decaicon soup okay so these are the major ingredients that I'll be using to make this yummy soup <laughs> i know you can already see the ingredients but let me still take you through the ingredients now this is onions crayfish okay and this is a parma cod stockfish okay it's called a parma a parma cod okay guys you guys saw how i bought this stockfish this stockfish is is actually expensive right now but the truth guys is this stockfish is is i mean it's amazing i just love the taste it adds to soups guys so this is the head a parma cod head okay and then this is smoked fish now this smoked fish is very fresh i mean at least i went to where they dry this fish <laughs> i do not want to get off from the table reason because you can get old fish from the table that if you're getting from the table like those people outside the market but i went inside where they are smoking this fish just to be sure i'm buying a fresh one the one that was smoked today okay so this is bonnet scotch pepper very pepperish and then the aroma this pepper adds to soup is amazing guys now there are different types of red pepper guys you see this type you see this particular red bonnet scotch pepper oh my god if you use this pepper to make soup whew, or use it to make stew my goodness the taste is different the aroma is different i mean just just try it give it a try and then thank me later <laughs> okay so the last but not the least this is periwinkle still inside the shell you saw how i got this as well in the market the lady has to cut it for me because, I mean, I can't do this at home. I can't cut this by, by myself at home. So, guys, now, down to the main key ingredients. So, this is water leaf. These are the two leaves I'll be using to make this popular Edi Kaikon soup. Guys, I love processing my veggies, my vegetables at home. Okay, I love processing my vegetables at home. I mean, I like taking my time, you know, see, there are lots of sand. Look at this. There are lots of sand in these leaves. I don't know, for the people that cut these things in the market, man, for me, for me, really, I love washing these things at home myself. Wash it well, as in wash it properly at home by myself. So when I'm going to cut it, it's going to come out very neat. Imagine, imagine cutting this thing in the market and with all of this sand. When you wash it, you're washing off all the nutrients in the water leaf. That's what I feel though. So this is called Ogo. 
So this is the second leaves I'll be adding to this to make this a dikaikon soup, popularly known as vegetable soup. Okay, guys, that's that. Okay, so let's start cooking. It's Becky the Mummy. Please, guys, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> please kindly subscribe, okay? Please kindly subscribe, okay? And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, okay, guys? Now, let's start cooking. Okay, guys, so this is lemon, native lemon, okay? I love using this to wash animal proteins. Now, I've already made a post on this, like I mentioned earlier. I'll drop the link in the description box. Please, guys, do see that post. It's very important you see that post. <laughs> Okay, so I've turned on the gas, put the pot on fire with the meat. I've already added onions. So here I'm adding um, one seasoning cubes and then I'll also add salt to taste, you know. So after adding the salt, I added water. Mm -hmm. So just to steam the meat. <laughs> okay, so this is stockfish. I've already washed it. It's also in that um, post how I wash stockfish. Okay, guys. Like I said earlier, please do see that post. It's an interesting one, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to add the stockfish now to the steaming pot. The already steaming pot, yes, yes. So I added the stockfish, you know. Now the reason why I'm adding the stockfish now is because, you know, I just have to allow this cow head to, you know, cook properly like cook it very soft before adding the stockfish so the stockfish don't get too soft so i covered the pot and went straight to pound pepper yes so guys guys i have blenders <laughs> i have like two or three blenders in the house but i don't know i just enjoy pounding you know these things together i just love the different taste it adds okay to soup or stew so guys i'm done pounding and i'm scraping them all out now see how yummy looking <laughs> this pepper onion and crayfish looks so after this i went straight up to wash the water leaf now guys you would see what this water would look like i mean see see the amount of sand see the amount of dirty this is just the reason why i prefer washing these things at home okay myself without cutting it in the market okay so this is the water leaf after cutting it and this is ugo my vegetable pumpkin leaves okay guys now the cooking proper i've added oil i added the um, um pepper onions and crayfish that i pounded together so i'm adding the water leaves now this is how i cook my own vegetable soup guys and the taste is amazing so i stirred the water leaf stirred and stirred you know water leaf has a lot of water in it so i'm stirring it so it will cook out the water that i'll be using to you know cook this soup i'm just going to be adding a little water extra here i'm adding the periwinkle okay the reason why i'm adding it now is so the taste of you know every other thing that i've added that will just sink inside the isam so when you're sucking it <laughs> okay guys so i added the um seasoning cube and salt and then i would stir to mix all that together so i stirred and stirred stirred and stirred stirred and stirred becky with stirring and then i covered up the pot okay guys so later on after like five minutes i came back to add all the condiments that i've already steamed together so here i'm washing the fish the smoked fish guys i had to use boiled water and salt you saw where i bought this fish from so it's very important i wash it very clean before adding it to my soup so yes i'm adding this fish now to the soup guys this fish is yummy hey this is ice fish dough but the smoked one so guys i stirred and stirred and covered up after like 10 minutes i came back to add the ugo the vegetable you know this is water leaf and i added the water leaf first so i don't have to let it cook for too long okay so i don't get a brownish soup so so i stirred and stirred to mix everything properly please guys i must mention this video is on speed <laughs> i don't 
stir vigorously to scatter my fish okay so guys after this i allow the soup to you know cool up for a while and then this is the face of my soup it's ready so guys after this i went on to make swallow okay yeah this is it i went on to make the swallow and guys the food is ready now look at the face of this food guys i'm good right <laughs> okay guys if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye, -bye.